Jonathan Kiel is in many ways a typical 22-year-old. He's a university student who likes to spend time with his dog and his family in a small town in Germany. But what sets Kiel apart, he saved a life. I thought, uh, why not registered? If they um, contact me, I can help. It all started when Kiel signed up during a campaign in high school to be a stem cell donor. Not long after, he was told he was a match. A little a jackpot win, you could say. Kiel had to give himself dozens of injections to prepare for the donation in 2019. I was at first scared a bit, little bit about the process because um, I'm a little bit afraid of uh, needles. The person in need of his donation was a mystery. They only told me that the receiver was an adult male in Canada. Two years later, German health authorities were allowed to give him the recipient's name, Dominic LeBlanc. His parents were called to Radio Canada what happened next. He came downstairs with the address with the name and the first you do in this time is Google. <laughs> uh, this person has a Wikipedia article. <laughs> it's a minister of Canada. No way. <laughs> so. LeBlanc was diagnosed with a rare form of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in 2019. He says he was cured by Kiel stem cells. I was told later it's one in 20,000 people would be that level of genetic match and have the same blood type. Did you always want to meet your donor? Oh, totally. I mean, how would you not want to get to know this remarkable person that from his own goodwill and kindness saved your life? Like Kiel, LeBlanc had been eager to learn his donor's identity. And when he did last fall... What immediately struck me was the fact that he was born in 2000. After some email and text exchanges, the pair met for the first time in November over Zoom. Hey, Hello. Jonathan. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? And they've kept the conversation going. Are, are you going to work this summer? I have a um, like mini job at a nearby school. They plan to meet in person later this year. I'm going to make sure he comes at a time when the Prime Minister will be able to see him. LeBlanc's outlook is now promising, though there are challenges. So I have a two and a half year old's immune system. So it's, it's healthy, it's doing well, uh, but it's more fragile than somebody who's sort of gone through all of the childhood colds and infections that one gets. LeBlanc knows he wouldn't be here without his German donor. So we have identical immune systems, identical blood systems, and there's obviously a link forever. I mean, Not many people in the world can say um, they saved a life. A gift of life and a bond they will always share. Julia Wong, CBC News, Ottawa.